there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with some new goodies from Mudracraft Stamps and their December release. So I'm making two cards today and first of all is a child's birthday card using the fun new Old MacDonald stamp set. So first of all for this card I've laid down another new release item which is this gorgeous floral splash stencil and I'm inking it with two Distress Oxide colours, Twisted Citron and Peacock Feathers. So I'm trying to make it look like the grass and the sky, um, but with a pretty little pattern in the background obviously. So just inking up and then you can see when I remove the stencil the pretty pattern underneath. Now I'm using Copic markers today for my colouring so I'm laying out all the images from the stamp set. I use all of them except for the windmill I think. So stamping them all with Memento Tuxedo Black ink which is a good Copic friendly ink. And these are such beautiful fine lined images. They're really really gorgeous and so sweet for children's birthday cards and tags. So just putting a nice amount of pressure on my misty so that I get a good clean image there. And starting off with old McDonald, colouring him in, I will list the Copic markers up above so you'll know what I've used each time. And I will not show you the colouring for every image, but I work the same way for each image. I start with my lightest Copic marker, then I add in the detail as I am here with the darkest and then I get the medium tone and I blend out the dark shading that I added and then I blend it all with the lighter colour again. So here I am with the lighter colour which I used first and just blending out the whole lot. So then I might go back in again and add a little bit more colour and in this case I do. I decide I want it a bit more dark around his tummy there. So I add a bit more detail with the darkest shade, a bit more with the medium shade and then blend the two with my lightest shade. And I do that for each item that I am colouring. It's pretty much always the same, it works fairly well and I get a nice blend that way and it's not too hard. I don't have a lot of Copics, I have about three in the different colour families that I like and so it works for me when I use those three colours in that way. So I'll let you enjoy the Copic colouring now and I'll be back when it's time to move on to the next step.
all right so as you can see all my images are colored and the next step is to fussy cut them so I just grab a fine pair of scissors that I have and work my way around each image right up close to the black outline I do not like the white uh, sort of border that you often get with the die cut uh, I don't think it looks as realistic as it does when you uh, hand cut right up close to the image so I don't mind fussy cutting at all I find it quite relaxing and I have fussy cut all those images and then adhered them some uh, with liquid adhesive straight to the card front and others with some phone tape now it's onto the sentiment and I've uh, combined two sentiments here the words uh, happy and birthday are from another new set called birthday from the December release and EIEIO of course is from the old McDonald's set and with a sponge dauber I'm just adding some more of those distress oxide colors around the outside and you can see my card is now complete. 